Today we're going to do a lesson on throwing. You'll need a ball of some sort. It could be a wiffle ball like this, a tennis ball, a racquetball. If you don't have a ball, ball up a pair of socks. It'll be the perfect shape for throwing. Uh, so we're gonna, at the end of this lesson, we're going to ask that you throw a ball, just a nice easy game of toss with a partner. It could be a sibling, it could be a parent. So at the end of this lesson, we're gonna ask you to just have a nice game of toss, a nice toss back and forth with your sibling, with your parent for about 15 minutes. If you feel comfortable doing it without the lesson, go ahead. But we're gonna show you right now how to throw a ball. We're gonna have a lesson right now on throwing. Now again, you can use any ball you have, any ball that will fit in your hand. If you don't have a ball, you can ball up some socks. That will be perfect for this activity. We're gonna work on the motion of throwing and you're gonna pretend there's two animals. Now I'm a lefty, I will pretend they're on my uh, left. Most of you are righty, so you can actually mirror what I'm doing. You're gonna take the ball in your throwing hand. It's the hand you draw with, the hand you write with. That is your throwing hand. Now first I'm gonna show you without the ball. The first animal I want you to think of is a tall dog. This dog is about this tall. His head is in front, tail is behind, and you're petting that dog head to tail. So that's the first animal, is petting that dog head to tail like this, pet the dog. The second animal is behind you and it's a horse. You're feeding that horse an apple. So you're gonna first pet the dog, then you're gonna feed that horse an apple, and it's a tall horse. It's not a little pony right here. It's a tall horse behind you. So feed the, or sorry, pet the dog, feed the horse the apple. After that horse has eaten the apple, all you have left is a core. And you're gonna throw that apple core away. When you do that, you're simply gonna throw forwards with that apple core. So pet the dog, feed the horse the apple, and throw away the core. Pet the dog, feed the horse an apple, and throw away the core. Now those are the three steps to throwing. A couple things I want you to focus on when you throw. You pet that dog, feed the horse the apple. Now right now my arm is straight when I'm feeding the horse an apple. When I throw, you don't want to keep your arm straight the whole time or it's going to look like a motion like that or up and over like that. So after you feed the horse an apple, bend your elbow, bend your arm at the elbow so that apple core goes over your shoulder as you throw the core away. Lastly, after you bend that elbow to throw the core away, you can point at your target where you want that apple core to go and that'll help it go straight for a little while. The reason I say that is, and I'll pick this ball up, if I bend over and then throw the apple core away, but then throw it downwards, it doesn't go to my partner. If I'm aiming down, it doesn't go to my partner. So when I throw that core away, where I point is where that ball should end up. If I let go here, that ball is going to go straight in the air. If I let go down here, that ball again will just go straight down. So after you throw the core away, point to where you want that core to go. So say it with me, pet the dog, feed the horse an apple, throw the core away. So I've grabbed a few wiffle balls to show you what it's gonna look like and the ball of socks. When I throw, and I'll throw that direction just so you can see what it looks like from the side, my target's gonna be over there. Remember, pet the dog, feed the horse the apple, and throw the core away. I'm going to pet the dog, feed the horse the apple, throw the core away. Pet the dog, feed the horse the apple, throw the core away. Now look, I'm pointing where I want it to go. With my sock ball, pet the dog, feed the horse the apple, throw the core away. Pet the dog, feed the horse the apple, throw the core away. All right, I want you to have about a 15 minute catch with somebody. When you're playing catch, 
Remember, and we'll talk about this later, your hands are open towards the ball when you're catching that ball. So when you catch the ball, hands are open towards it, and you're trapping that ball to catch it. I want you to have about a 15 minute catch with somebody. It could be a sibling, it could be a parent, anybody. Have about a 15 minute catch with somebody, either with a ball of sock if you need to, all the way to a wiffle ball, tennis ball, any ball you have. Have fun.